Okay, so 11.15. So let me get started with my presentation. Um, uh, my presentation title is uh, CISBAC, the help to get for system ends and developers based on basically make, it be, this talk it may be uh, may not uh, so in interesting and exciting as uh, ones regarding the uh, uh, cord inside the uh, BSD operating system, but uh, this is one of the results I want to share in uh, among the wider audience because uh, I'm uh, maintaining uh, this kind of framework for a long time, and uh, yeah, I really want to make it public in some way. And uh, so PDF version of this slide is uh, available on a URL on this slide. And uh, please uh, download uh, if you want to check the uh, slides uh, before the talk or after the talk. So uh, first of all, I'll, I'd like to introduce myself. I am a researcher at the uh, University uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology uh, or uh, Tokyo Tech and uh, uh, previously committed since uh, 2001 or so over 20 years working on the various areas, including the user land and the kernel. And uh, I, so as a day job, uh, for my day job, um, I'm working on the, the, in the range from the 10 to 100 uh, machines, including a FreeBSD and non-FreeBSD at the university for, um, uh, purposes of, uh, of course, some machines are using, uh, some machines are used for the normal uh, network services uh, for the university or uh, students as a infrastructure like uh, web server or email server, but uh, most of them are experimental purpose. So, uh, for example, I said that the um, machine, but uh, it is for a developing purpose. Developing purpose means the uh, students change the uh, a part of the source code of the system software and the build it and run on the system. And the, uh, this cycle is uh, repeatedly uh, performed on the same machine. So uh, it is not a, uh, strictly speaking, it is not a server or a service, but uh, uh, I need to uh, set up the uh, comfortable environment to perform this kind of uh, trial and error uh, to, uh, to test a code or a configuration of the um, uh, services implemented by using the so third party software, uh, famous third party software like an Nginx or an uh, email server, um, as uh, for the education purpose. So, uh, students try to build uh, experimental server with uh, configuration files, uh, their configuration file, and then check the behavior. And then, so, uh, in a case of the very short time, the after the one hour of the starting the uh, uh, building the server, uh, the after, one hour later, uh, the server will be uh, destroyed. And uh, so replacing with the another uh, software. So uh, I need, so I have needed to uh, set up a lot of customized a system at the various levels. Something, uh, so some servers to be quiet with the manual of FreeBSD will listen to configuration files in the last uh, three plus years or five plus years for uh, SHL services and infrastructure, or uh, some systems are uh, require the uh, heavily purchased version that cannot be uh, upstream into the project, or uh, a system itself is used as a development target. So it, 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 it is highly um, possible to break something during the iteration of the uh, development. So uh, there are pain points for uh, system, system administrators who have to take care of this kind of system are uh, subtracting or recording the necessary modifications 
such as uh, so congregation files, the how do you set up the uh, hardware and the software, or uh, duplicating the existing system uh, completely. The second uh, bubble is uh, deployment of the system. So uh, it, once I can get the system working, but the, the whole set of uh, computation file must be deployed in the bare metal server or uh, virtual environment. So how, so uh, the deployment, how to deploy it heavily depends on the, or what kind of uh, operating system is used or what kind of target, target hardware is used. So uh, it is difficult to get the consistent uh, way to um, understand the, how to prepare the system. And the third one is, uh, uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, iteration process. As a system administrator, as a software developer, um, changing something and uh, try it to confirm if it works as expected. This, this uh, process involves the, uh, a lot of steps um, so minimizing the steps required to uh, perform the, uh, this cycle in a short time, in a short time is uh, quite uh, important for good uh, experience, especially for students. So, uh, of course, there are several uh, software solutions to handle this kind of uh, pain points. The first, first bullet is supposed to be uh, solved by using the version control system, for example. And the second one, so there are a lot of uh, shiny, uh, fancy deployment automation orchestration uh, tools, such as Ansible, uh, popping with the chef. And uh, so recent years, uh, we are, uh, using the uh, public cloud and the public cloud offers uh, uh, their own version of the orchestration tools. And the third one, I do not have uh, any uh, explicit software solution, but uh, yes, process can be, processes or steps can be uh, documented somewhere and the administrator or students themselves can follow the instruction. So the SysPAC is uh, a set collection of the um, software developed to solve the small a collection of small problems uh, during the uh, setting up this um, setting up the systems used in my university. So there is no intention to replace the uh, fancy software on the uh, previous slide. Instead, SysPAC is a, a thin layer to provide the consistent interface to um, manage the configuration file and the build uh, process of the system. So it can be uh, understand, uh, understood by uh, comparing the uh, installation or compilation steps provided by the third party software and the uh, port tree or package source uh, tree uh, the, that the BSD project are maintaining. The ports or package source is a thin layer, additional layer over the build, uh, build procedure or installation procedure provided by the original uh, distribution to port the uh, so, uh, software uh, distribution to BSD operating system and be implemented by the uh, BSD make. So this is the one of the example of the ports uh, maintained in the FreeBSD. And uh, basically um, ports consist of the several text file and the main one is uh, make file and it, con it includes the uh, a key value pair to define the what kind of software is uh, handled and uh, where is the uh, distribution 
uh, URL and uh, how to build it. So this kind of information is uh, stored inside the one single uh, make file, right? In, in this way. So uh, this works as a wrapper of the operation required to install the software. Even if the, there are a lot of software and each software has their own way to build the software itself and the installation, but the BSD, uh, so three major BSD projects that maintaining the how to install a third party software by using the voice of package source framework. And the, this framework make the way to um, install the software in, in a consistent way. So the syspack is a uh, similar concept in a thin layer uh, on top of the uh, building the system software. So uh, there are four goals to implement this kind of uh, system. So first one is non-intrusive. Non-intrusive means uh, you can use a this framework in combination with your uh, favorite management workflow. So even if uh, the a single file can be managed by using a this framework, and uh, you can continue to use the uh, your favorite uh, version control system, your favorite uh, um, a file management or deployment framework provided by the uh, third-party software. And the second one is a scalable, and uh, you can use the single file or you can manage the 100 to 1,000 uh, files under uh, this and, um, implementation to provide a consistent interface. And third one is the flexibility. The syspack is originally developed to manage the bunch of files and the uh, configuration uh, for a single system, but it can be uh, used for um, minimizing the necessary steps in the modification, build a test, the iteration process uh, that that is commonly seen in the uh, development of the kernel, the user land uh, part of the um, uh, or the system, a part of the system. So this can be uh, used as a tool to make it easier. And the last one is extensible. And uh, yes, this kind of, uh, as you can imagine, so implementing this kind of a system, it can be uh, in the various ways, depending on the developer. But the maintenance ability is uh, one of the uh, biggest goal. So um, the implementation is carefully considered as an, extensible as in some way. So this system is uh, de actually developed for the proprietary software project in the uh, university, but uh, uh, being a bit implemented because of the copyright reason, uh, I cannot make them all open uh, open sourced, but uh, re-implementing the carefully uh, useful part has the open source version. So I, that, that's the reason why I want to uh, make it public or among the wider audience here. So the reason why the uh, best make is used to implement a uh, system. Uh, probably uh, a lot of a system administrator relies on, rely on uh, shell script to automate the installation process or uh, changing the, uh, so uh, configuring the initial configuration of the system. But the shell scripts, yes, yes, uh, of course, you, I am using the shell script uh, in the various places, but the, um, for example, for over one year or two year, uh, so two year later uh, from the, uh, configuring the system, I almost forget the 
I everything about server. So why this is configured? So uh, I have to read the um, long series with from top to bottom. So uh, it is difficult to understand the uh, uh, lengthy shell script if I wrote that all of things into one file. And uh, another point is um, it is quite difficult to reuse the part of the shared script because shared script is running from top to bottom. So um, um, complex dependency between the two procedures and uh, it is difficult to uh, pick up the, some part uh, in general. So, uh, so 10 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, I used the shared script in some, um, in some system, but uh, I ended up to, uh, I ended up with uh, uh, some other, um, some of the uh, convention that, that can reduce the pain about the complexity and the reusability. So uh, two, um, uh, two concepts that should be maintained in the um, uh, configuration file or system configuration management. But first one is item potency and the, another one is uh, uh, configuration file or um, uh, steps to configure the system must be uh, written in some way in a declarative description. This declarative description means the uh, not the procedure from top to bottom. So what is required and uh, what um, so what relationships are required in the configuration file or uh, what parameters um, should be configured in the system. So in the shell script, the, each statement tends to be an operation of the so file move or uh, editing the file, but the declarative description um, only includes the meaning or we, what, what results must be um, must be obtained to uh, to make the uh, server working. So uh, the make is uh, actually designed for this kind of jobs in. But by using the shell script inside, so target is defined in the, in the related procedure. Small portion of the procedure is associated with the target. So uh, make is um, used in the uh, build infrastructure of the base system of the BSD of derived operating system for a long time. So uh, the shell script is not enough to. Uh, manage the, all of the source files in an efficient way. So that is a reason why the make is um, invented. So using make is a natural choice if you are using the BSD operating system. And uh, uh, of course, there are a lot of um, management software, um, configuration file or uh, configuration procedure management software, but uh, there are, uh, they have so a lot of, uh, they have uh, their own way to define the, how to um, configure of the system. So Docker or uh, container-based solution tends to use the, some list of uh, data, so key value pair, like a JSON or uh, other uh, data structure description. Um, but it, it is truly uh, uh, declarative in some way. But the, yeah, so so make is make is enough for the this kind of jobs. So I decided to uh, stick to the BSD make. Okay, so uh, let's see the uh, basic functionality of the uh, sysbug. Uh, sysbug is uh, 
collection of the make files basically and uh, this is um this can be used for uh, managing the configuration file so uh, let me introduce the how to handle uh, how the syspec handled the uh, configuration file and uh, by using the practical uh, example so the syspec can be downloaded from the GitHub. Uh, it's a Git clone uh, shown on this slide. And uh, yes, you can try if you are uh, running uh, FreeBSD now. And it, it is just, uh, uh, it uses a, a directory structure to put the um, modified configuration file into that. And uh, copying from the working directory to uh, final destination. For example, uh, this slide shows the directory structure here, and uh, this is uh, created in your home directory. And uh, rc.conf here, and uh, this is responding to the uh, slash uh, dire uh, directory, but uh, this is a copy and uh, organized under uh, one directory or a single, um, a single machine. It is named then uh, simple.example.org. And uh, there is no technical restriction about the directory name, so you can rename the uh, freely, but uh, um, using the host name is uh, simple, uh, one of the simple way. So uh, each directory has a main file and it, it is generated by the SPX um, shell script provided by the syspac. So you can easily get uh, this uh, template uh, directory layout just invoking the, uh, this command line. But the uh, directory LC is corresponding to the uh, slash LC slash uh, something in the local system. And a make file has a, only three lines. So destination and the files, and in this case, in RC only in rc.com. And then this is actually uh, used in the uh, BSD source, the free BSD and the BSD open BSD source uh, users under the user source. And it is not new and uh, it is not by uh, Syspac itself, uh, actually using the bsd.files.mk under the user share MK. But uh, these lines can be uh, used to manage the rc.com file itself. And after uh, putting the uh, this, uh, your uh, favorite changes into the working directory, so rc.com, you can install the rc.com file by using the make install. And uh, you can check the what is the difference between the destination directory and the working directory by using a make diff. Make diff is provided by the syspec. It is not included in the standard the BSD uh, make macros. So, um, so the management workflow uh, looks like uh, one's explained in, on this slide. If you add a change, if you want to add a change to the configuration file, first you have to the file you have to copy the file into the working directory, and then change add the ch add a change to the file so in the working directory, and check the difference uh, between the destination and the local working directory by using the make diff, and if it looks okay, uh, you can use the make install to install the change. And the whole directory structure in the uh, working directory can be uh, inside your repository. So you put all of them into uh, git, git repository or subversion or whatever you want. So uh, after the installation, uh, you can uh, commit the changes. So by using this workflow, you can always have the exact copy of the uh, file set inside the your working directory. However, 
uh, it is highly possible to um, for you to edit the configuration file on the destination location. So uh, you, you, so the, there is a chance to uh, edit the file directly. So in that case, you have to um, you have to merge back the change from the destination to um, um, or local working directory. So you can also use the make diff if the difference there is a difference between the uh, destination and the local uh, directory. And if there is some, uh, you can uh, make a console to uh, merge the change back from the destination to a local copy. So these two directions, you can uh, keep the two files on the working directory and the destination consistent. So these targets, so make def and make reconcile is are uh, provided by the back, and uh, it is integrated into the um, BSD make macros in a seamless way. And if you have the more files, uh, you can add the files line. Um, so this can hold the multiple files like this. So you can put the, uh, another file in the same directory structure. And uh, if you want to change the installation uh, permission order in the group, uh, you can define that this uh, another uh, parameter uh, definition in the make file. And uh, you can uh, create uh, a diff another directory to group the uh, by the destination location. So uh, if you want to install the user local asset, uh, you can create another directory and put the make file. And so a top level make file is, so in a template output, it has a sub here equal to the RSA only, but you can put there another directory. So by doing uh, uh, changing in the make file is a bit uh, is not uh, uh, intuitive, but uh, once you learn the right how to write the make file, so very uh, very small number of uh, lines can realize the. Um, uh, can be used to organize the a lot of files in the directory structure as sh shown on this slide. So so and uh, rc.conf is uh, located. In the some uh, working directory, and it says uh, the temporary directory. And uh, on the slide, the example.org, but uh, this is the real um, uh, host name. So in, in this, oh. So in this, uh, oof. On this machine, the rc.conf uh, has a lot of lines like this. And the local file has only three lines. So a very big difference with the make diff shows the, so stock version is uh, destination location and the work theory is uh, contents on the working directory. So the destination is a uh, change it for some reason. So you can merge back from the destination to a local by using maybe console. It, 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 in, this invoke is the SDF simply. So uh, if you uh, want to merge all of them, So local working directory contents is synced with the destination. So make diff is has no output right now. 
so by using this uh, workflow, um, uh, for example, if you are only person to uh, edit or manage the same machine or uh, a set of machines, you can use uh, your own way. But uh, there, so but uh, if you have the uh, multiple uh, system administrator to um, manage the a group of uh, machines, uh, this kind of framework is uh, quite useful uh, for the uh, people who has the various level of uh, expertise about the uh, understanding of uh, Unix like operating system. That's so all. One instruction is enough to please uh, follow the um, please follow the uh, this working floor and the please keep the make def with no contents in all ways. So the implementation is uh, something like this. And syspark is, um, has a lot of make files under the directory, the platform dot something, depending on the operating system. So make def is separated in the df.mk and the uh, install is here. And uh, there are a lot of uh, make target is um, defined as a plugin collection. So you can um, define the, some specific functionality. For example, the, you can see the backup here and uh, you want to uh, make a backup of the all of the configuration files into some places, uh, you can define this kind of uh, make file. And uh, this is one of the example of the um, uh, plugin, so service plugin. After the editing or the modifying the configuration file, uh, you always, I, I think you usually uh, check the log files or I uh, usually we start the service daemon or and after that you have to check the log file if it, if the everything is uh, working or not. So services can be uh, defined here and uh, if and the syslog D and the LDPD has a, a corresponding uh, configuration file here. So after editing the syslog.conf and ntp.conf, you may want to uh, restart the services. And uh, just putting the one line here and the targets will be added. So make start, make stop, make restart. So these three uh, targets can be used to restart the two daemons. And then this is uh, another uh, targets. Uh, uh, prepared in the original the BSD uh, macro set. It is not a new in the syspark, but uh, you can define the after install target here. And uh, this equivalent lines will be executed just after the make install. So uh, there are more, there are more plugins to support or make the uh, preparation of the uh, configuration file easier. Well, one is uh, uh, one of them is uh, template. So FS tab is defined as the files here, but uh, you can you do not need to have the FS tab that admin directly because the template is defined here. So if you have the two lines, FS tab the admins is generated from the three files here, concatenated from the FS star, uh, concatenating the, these three files first, and then the result will be uh, processed in a string replacement routine. But so jail part is replaced with admin. So you can have the small, three files inside the working directory to generate the single completion file by using this template. 
And uh, PKG is uh, prepared to uh, download the installation, install the package, binary packages corresponding to the currently installed package uh, into the working directory to um, make the uh, people, this, people the action of the system easier. So a uh, package can be, can you can install the packages into the system, but the, after one year later, it is impossible to get the uh, corresponding binary pre playbill packages from the official uh, package server. So um, this struggling download the uh, binary package files into the uh, local working file locking directory and uh, you can reuse the package set from the backup. And the last one is uh, store. Yeah, it's most of file is uh, handled by or supported by the syspac management assumes the uh, file itself is the used for the configuration. But uh, there are uh, another example, such as the ZFS, the ZFS uses um, um, it not, does not use the text file for the configuration. So uh, it has, so ZFS has a setter on or getter utility. So in a case, the store a plugin handled it by saving the contents that is obtained from the getter utility into a file and uh, we store the uh, value by using the setter utility. This is a uh, plugin to handle that situation. So uh, these uh, plugins are uh, uh, came from the uh, problems I experienced in the past and uh, it is uh, one of the example of the extensivity of the SysPack. And uh, after that, I extended the uh, functionality of the SysPack to build the system and the deployment. And uh, it's a build is straightforward because the uh, user source, um, uh, so BSD operating system source tree is uh, easy to uh, handle um, in terms of the building the whole system. But a uh, difficult part is uh, how to download the source file from the project. And so of course there are documentation on the uh, software BSD or in the BSD and the open BSD that you can download the source file from the official um, uh, web server or uh, FTP server. But the, it is difficult to um, uh, memorize the uh, uh, URL or uh, procedure to get the source file. So that kind of complexity can be um, put uh, can be put behind the uh, syspec. So user just need to invoke the make fetch or make world of fetch in this, in this case to retrieve the uh, source file from the official server. So uh, if you want to build a system, uh, you, these three um, uh, these three parameters are used, uh, required and uh, you can use the make world of fetch to get the source file and the build word and the you can get the results in the each separated uh, directory. So if you use a user source, the object file directory or result directory are um, uh, defined, so the default value will be used. But in, in this case, you can put the, every, put the results into under the uh, directory structure. So you can, um, build a multiple system in the different configuration uh, by using uh, this framework easily. So yes, that's the same. 
And the deployment part, I, I did not put this part into the GitHub yet because uh, I need to uh, check the, which part can be, um, uh, be used without uh, fiddling the uh, copyright issue. So I will uh, upload this part uh, shortly, but the deployment is basically uh, uh, copying from the uh, build result to the destination. And it is uh, covered by the controller plugin and uh, supported. It, it's, it's supporting the local deployment and the jail environment deployment and the, some Beehive or QM uh, virtual machine deployment on the same system on the remote previously system. And uh, in the case of remote, uh, the structure is roughly uh, summarized in this uh, uh, diagram. So you are. Uh, managing the uh, configuration file and working directly on the machine A. And the machine B is a target uh, machine that runs the uh, results of the uh, system image built on the main file, uh, uh, machine A. So uh, to realize the um, environment, uh, running environment, the controller jail is uh, set up on the target machine uh, by using the simple command and the, the communication is uh, realized over um, uh, SSH and uh, inside the controller jail uh, receiving the system image and uh, deploying the system on the another machine. And even if the, uh, the target is local and the controller jail can be used in, in this way. So another plugin is this image plugins is handling the packing the images. And uh, so there are options that can be seen in the build distributions like a table for the buildable image and the file system image. It's, it is actually a, a dependency of the deployment options. Okay, so applications I built for the um, uh, universities, uh, cases are so first one is uh, the original um goal to manage the configuration files among the multiple uh, system administrators but so uh this for system administrators so modification and activating the service daemon and the checking the logs and the, the cycle uh um, so this back made made the this cycle uh, a lot easier and uh for, uh, especially um, uh, managing this configuration files. So this usually uh, multiple system administration the administrators involving if if the multiple system administrator involving the uh, system management the which part or what kind of or what files are required. This kind of thing is scattered around on the multiple machines. And uh, it is difficult to reproduce the same system, but uh, by by using the a consistent workflow, uh, the um, that makes the the this kind of cycle easier. And another example is uh, for students who are interested in uh, working on the uh, change, adding the change to the system and build it and run it on the virtual machine or bare metal uh, machines to. Uh, confirm that if it works correctly in during the uh, software development, and uh, so by by using the system to uh, make the onboarding experience uh, improving the onboarding experience because uh, students can focus on the change of the source and uh, they do not need to care about the uh, where they need to fetch from uh, fetch the source file from or uh, some other uh, project dependency uh, information, uh, depend, dependent information. So last one is uh, organizing the system configuration for an automated testing, automated uh, uh, thing is because uh, so deploying and uh, destroying the system, even for the very short time, 
say the one hour or something like that that is easy to handle by using the same uh, interface. So the last one is a to do. So the, uh, unfortunately, uh, there are there is almost no documentation right now. So I am working on it, and uh, I will upload the documentation, the missing part in the previous slides, to the GitHub repo. And uh, another uh, to do is uh, supporting the packaging the application level set of configurations. So imagine that the email server, the email server involves the multiple uh, software and configuration. So your favorite configuration. So using the ports or the package source system, it is difficult to uh, manage the, the set of the software plus configuration file. So uh, to support this uh, set of configuration and the uh, package, the app plugins is under uh, so, uh, development of the app plugins in progress. Uh, if it, it completes, it, it is, the development is completed, uh, you can put the single directory corresponding to the, so uh, a each set of the email server part, and you can combine the, you, you can combine the uh, several application to build a single, uh, to put the several uh, servers into the uh, one physical server by, by so combining the uh, multiple directory into the working uh, area for the syspec. And the non-BSD system support is another target because uh, my environment requires a Linux or other um, old operating system. So it's seven is uh, uh, one of the environment I'm using to confirm the portability or the applicability of the system. BSD make is uh, quite portable and uh, actually uh, so seven is uh, usable. Okay, so time is up. So questions, comments, and suggestions. Okay. It showed the example of after install to rebuild the password database. Uh -huh. After password. Xbox is making a library. Um, it's like that, but you know, perhaps it always be done after certain files or something. Inside the syspack or inside the uh, BSD make BSD make macros. Um, same question. Uh, yes, you can define the so standard set of the uh, pre uh, uh, pre target command line or post target command line into a uh, place in a syspack directory to reuse them into the app multiple uh, make file. Any other questions? Is there a uh, any thought to um, giving standard tests for syntax for certain files? Like when when one is editing rc.conf, uh, a lost uh, quote could get the system down? Testing the contents of the rc.conf? Or, or uh, files as well. It is not provided in the system, but the, you can uh, add the testing phase in integration. That you can integrate the uh, stitch into the system. So it would seem it would seem useful before you do a git commit, for example, or before you do a make install. Yeah. So would that be a hook, or a simple, or a test that would have to manually be run? Um, so you can define the uh, so yes. pre-install target, for example, to uh, make it run. Always before the installation or installation of the um, uh, rc.com, for example. So uh, it is not implemented in a uh, mandatory way in this current system, but you can define the uh, testing part, of course. Okay. Okay, lunch. Thanks.